Hello everybody, this is your friendly neighbor, Lisa Foxy, and welcome back to Honkai Star Rail, and uh, hopefully the audio is not too low for you guys, though it looks like it's kind of dying on my side, but anyway, so uh, I'm going to continue on, like I said, with the story real quick, and then we'll pull for Fu Swan, because I did a little bit of an investment in just to see Eventually, if it will work out for me, and uh, you know what I need. all that good stuff. Between expeditions, it's always a challenge to make time with Links. But why doesn't she want to talk to us? Calm down. We've got him to help us. They're already nervous. So nervous. Serval, Serval, Serval. Hey, we were just talking about you. How was it? With Lynx? Can we tell him everything that happened? <sighs> so. That stranger was Pela. What can I say? Sounds like a lynxy expedition, all right. You're not gonna get angry at her, right? No way! As long as Lynxie can protect herself, I'll be supportive in all her ventures. Serval is right. This time, this was Lynx's own choice. We won't be upset with her. But... Exploring the snow plains is still quite dangerous. All right, all right, calm down. She'll be able to look after herself. Thank you for being around for this. Japard was too anxious to sleep. I... Sis, you're exaggerating. As for how we'll communicate with Linksy in the future, we'll have to have a good think about it. You really helped us a lot this time. Thank you so much. All right. Angel. How's it going with you? I'm uh, not done yet. I'm heading out for the meetup. I'm heading out for the meetup. Well, be there in a sec. I'm at the muse museum right now. Bailey's here too. Come here once you're done. Alright. Don't run me over! Though I always was curious of what happens when it does happen. Careful now. Don't get your clothes wet. Alright, so to the museum. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day out there. No, I am. Slowly but surely. Look at that shampoo. <laughs> Too. Is Pila not here yet? She's in the storage room. Let's wait for her. What's she doing in I there? I think she's looking over the contents of that flash drive. Let's give her some time. So what's in uh, there? I don't know the exact details. But... <sighs> I'm guessing you don't know about Pila's mother, right? Peña Sergeyevna was Belobog's greatest outdoor explorer. Passed away 16 years ago. Hmm. Pila never mentioned. Pila never mentioned. Hmm. She doesn't usually talk about it. 
Oh man, sorry guys if you hear the doop. I gotta mute this stuff. <laughs> you sure it's okay to tell me this? I asked her already. And she said it was fine. She seems like she really trusts you. Anyway. Well, something else happened 16 years ago. Pela was born. Yes. They say that despite her pregnancy, Madame Pena insisted on staying at the Snow Plains camp. She couldn't go to the front lines, but she was able to handle administrative duties. Then, finally, the day of Pela's birth arrived. Tragically, there were complications. Other serious incidents occurred that day. The exploration team ran into a blizzard and the camp lost contact with the outside world. No one knew what to do. The only good thing was that Pela was born healthy. Never knew any of this. So what about the? F so what about the flash drive? The flash drive. If the old research team members were telling the truth, it was something Madame Pena left behind. Madame Pena asked a colleague to take her terminal and flash drive back to Bellabog. She said they contained a treasure for Pela. She said that once Pela was older, she'd be able to understand the contents. Poor Pela. But that colleague was attacked by fragmentum creatures on his way back to the city. During the attack, he dropped the flash drive in confusion, only managing to bring back the terminal. Apart from Madame Pena, nobody knew what the flash drive contained. But they say she left Pela many letters. From the moment she knew she was pregnant, the day of Pela's birth. <laughs> Never missing a day. Jepard. <clears throat> I'm back. Lynx! You're finally back. Uh, what's with the red eyes? Did something happen? Jepard? Need to make it obvious. Welcome home, Lynxie. <clears throat> oh, it's okay. It's okay. 
Seems like a lot went down in the snow plains. Thanks again for your help. I think we need a little private time. See you soon. I should give them some time together. All right. And now Pila will be on the express. Link. Nice. All right. Angel, what's wrong? Back then, at the museum, you heard everything, right? I heard it. Yes. I'm sorry. I knew it. Never mind. It's actually nothing. I was very happy. I went out camping on that day. Thank you. You're welcome. No need to be so polite. Let's head out again when you're free and don't forget about the supper. Okay, it's a promise. As for supper, I would like some time to myself today, actually. Let's go next time. Poor Bella. Alright, guys. The moment we've been waiting for. <laughs> Let's hope I can get Fuswa today. <laughs> so, we will see what happens. Gonna do the one magic. Blue. I don't even know why I was gonna say purple. Alright. Keep going. I think it's a dud. Oh no, it's purple. Okay. Alright. Pila. <laughs> I'd be a little more happier if it was uh, Lynx or uh, the other. Alright. Let's keep going though. Just the one magic pool. Well, not gonna give up though. Another blue. Are you a blue? <laughs> you guys get to see how many pulls does it take for me to actually get her. Uh, nope. Alright, I'll keep going though. I wonder how many pulls did you guys get? If you guys managed to pull for her. Another blue. Big oh. ball. Come on now. Nope. <laughs> I get amazed how many times does it take to actually try to get gold. But at least you guys can count how many times does it actually take to actually uh, pull for her. I would probably just pull all of them in. Sometimes I want to save some of my or orc things. I think it's another blue. I think there's a certain type of music that you would hear when you're about to pull for a gold. I'm not too sure what I'd be thinking of, but just like what happened with Welp. Nope. When 
win the Fuswan, win. Come home to me. Got a purple. We get Pila. Oh my goodness. Pila is like dominant. She, like she's very dominant. You thought it was gonna be safe? Nope. It's gonna be Pila. Not even Nyx or or uh hook. I wonder how some people get those magical pulls where it's like they get twice. Alright. Nope. Another blue. This game's loving the blue. Come on! Nope. Gotta keep pulling. Keep pulling for that magic number. <laughs> this might be it. Maybe? Maybe? Ah. Nope. The excitement of pulling. That's it. Nope. Ah, man. It's luck. It used to have been really good at the beginning. It's like, when you pull in the game, it, it was that you actually got lucky. Oh my goodness. Pom Pom, please. Have mercy on my soul, Pom Pom. <laughs> Purple! Okay, please no more Pila. Oh, okay. Well, now we got a card instead of... <laughs> RNG cards! No. Getting a little thin there. Come on! New Fuswa! <laughs> Join my party! I need you! Cause I'm not even halfway there yet, I have to get like uh, her, her uh, card. That's gonna be another thing. It's like the card seems to be a little more gentle to pull than... ...than the actual thing. Oh goodness. Alright. Almost there. They just want me to wail, that's all it is. Oh my goodness, be nice to me. <laughs> Maybe? Nope. Should be about like now. It's like should give me a gold by now. One Astro Express. No. Yep. Not yet. Feels like you have to the magic fifty. <laughs> Nope. Okay, this is... This will be another pull. And then I'm gonna have to... See if we got any free ones from this. And then next time I'll probably do a big 10. If this doesn't, uh... Whoops, wait a minute. I was like, wait a minute. Alright, so we, we got two. Two of these. 
know the game wants me to well. I, I totally understand. Didn't think she was gonna be this hard to pull. Oh, we got a purple. What do we get? Oh, we got a hook. Okay. Alright. That's acceptable. Oh, how unfortunate. Well, that's okay. So, uh oh, I got a free extra one. So, let's go ahead. And I think, I'm not too sure if these are ready yet. Wait a minute, where is it? Mm, three more days. And I probably would have gotten some free extra out of that. But that's okay. So, let's see what our one ticket left is. And then I will probably come back and do more. So, yeah. Then I'll also continue the story as well. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, so I will be sure to put an uh, extra part to this so you guys can see and hopefully I will get her. I mean, this is this was the first 50 I've already kind of invested for her and it's already tough for the RNG pool for her. So hopefully we'll get lucky, and uh, if anything, next we have to try to get this, and I hope we do. So until then, I will be right back. Okay, and I am back, everybody. <clears throat> so as I said, I was going to come back and give it all. I'm going to go for the 10 pull, and uh, hopefully I'll just get lucky, and if not, well, then I'll just have to wait again. <laughs> But I hope I do get her. I really do. I truly do with all my might. Got a purple. Alright, let's see what kind of... Oh, we got a Lynx. Okay. Alright, let me... Oh, and we got March. Oh, well, March will be complete, too. So that's great. Alright. So that's pretty lucky right there. Just gonna hope. Just really gonna hope. Now my luck is changing around because of the purples. So who do we get? More pilas. For pila day. All right, so now we're kind of weighing down to the ones. So uh, as much as I would love, love, love more than anything to get 10, um, we're going to try to get whatever's left and invest the six and see what happens out of the six. going. Yes. Some intense pulling today. Oh, we got a purple. Oh, okay. We, I think that's what we got. Three so far of that. We got two more left, so let's see what happens. Nope. One more left. I feel this is going to be a normal. Well, that's okay. 
And, uh... <clears throat> But hopefully we will get her some time. I won't give up. Uh, also, we gotta still do the story. And, um... Let's see. Hopefully we will get her. But at least I'm just pretty happy that... Uh, I, I got... I get to complete March. Because I got lucky with her. Here we go. So March is complete. And then... Hook. It's not complete yet. I just need three more hooks. And then... I got lucky with two. So... Just gonna have to wait. And hopefully I will... Uh, run into pure luck with that. Alright. So, with that I will continue the story. Probably get a little bit of luck of extra goodies in the story progress. And, uh, yeah. So, let me see here. Uh, champion. Ah, uh, yeah. So, we're going to deal with March. So, let's go ahead and... Talk to March. So, I figured we'd do at least this story for uh, for a bit. But it's so it's good when you get your characters and, you know, it's all about that luck. Ho hopefully I get lucky, you know, <laughs> uh, but I always try my best. One zero one zero one. All right. Good morning. Is work going well today, Master Diviner? This is going to restart. I am extremely busy of late. I'm... If you have something to ask of me, do not delay. Game has to think. Uh... There it goes. I don't know why it does that every time when I'm going here, so... But dang, she's so serious. But all right, here we go. Good morning! Is work going well today, Master Diviner? I am extremely busy of late. If you have something to ask of me, do not delay. Uh... You were about to say something along the lines of, How did you know I wanted to ask something? But then you remembered who you were talking to and decided not to bother, correct? The look, well, the look on her face says it all, doesn't it? A face is not a reliable instrument of divination. On the contrary, I run a dozen hexagrams before I even get around to breakfast. The results are never far wrong. Today's divinations threw up some unexpected complications. The hexagrammatic position was facilitating between the water and heaven trigrams. The matrix of prescience gave the following interpretation. You will have three uninvited guests. This is ultimately auspicious. Ultimately auspicious? Wow, sounds pretty good to me. Seems like we really were destined to meet today then. You know, I see you've been using the Matrix of Prescience to divine into Kafka's past. Well, I have a similar request. Hmm, I see. You wish to use the Matrix to relive the past and awaken parts of your memory? Viable in principle, but whether the Matrix is truly capable of achieving this result remains to be seen. <sighs> I knew it. Things are never simple, are they? Kafka's situation was different. 
I feel I must explain in detail the principles behind the Divination Commission's ultimate weapon to avoid any misunderstandings. The Matrix of Prescience does not allow one to remember anything. It merely collects data in order to infer past events, in the same way that future events are inferred. Just as Realm Keeping Commission officers collect ballistic evidence to recreate the scene of a crime, there are materials from which we can infer the past. These may be items related to the experience or memories of the people involved. Miss March's predicament is very different from Kafka's situation because she doesn't remember what happened in her past. I am no medical professional, but fortunately I'm very fond of reading. We understand that there are two types of memory loss. One where the memories remain dormant, floating around in the unconsciousness unable to be awakened and another that involves direct erasure of memories from the brain. Uh, who would do such a horrible mean thing? Why don't we try using the Matrix of Prescience to determine which situation pertains to Miss March? Let's begin then by preparing the requisite inference materials. Miss March, your memory is unreliable. To guarantee the Matrix's accuracy, You'll have to provide something related to your past experience. Anything will do. When you're ready, come and find me in the Matrix Core. Uh, the Diviner said I need to provide something from my past experiences. Hmm, what should it be? How about a Sienjo souvenir? Souvenir, huh? Imagine. The Divination Commission could predict how likely a person is to commit crime. Okay, where is this? Cause this, I, this place. So, have you acquired something from your past? As a nameless. Surely you must have souvenirs from your journeys that could evoke memories. I've got lots. It's just... I don't know what to choose. Mm. One of my fondest memories on the Sienjo. <laughs> no comments. I happen to prefer Star Taro bubble tea. Ah, proof that I boarded the Express! The Conductor gave me this! Memories from the Astral Express? That should do the trick. Mm. March researcher, huh? Something related to your work. Good. Actually, this one, though, she never really worked there. Ah, so shiny and pretty. I picked up this little guy in Bellabog's underworld. Are you sure it's not radioactive? We can't just keep lost items. Uh, how could something so beautiful be unsafe? I can understand a young girl's fondness for glittering gemstones. Is that it? Miss March, are you not able to provide possessions from before you lost your memory? Uh, before I lost my memory? So, something I don't remember getting? Even then, I couldn't be sure it was from before I lost my memory, right? It may be strange to you, but to infer the past, I need materials that were pertinent at that time. Could you try recalling some memories again? From before the memory loss... Before the Express... I'm sorry, Master Diviner. When Himeko found me in the ice, I was stark naked, like a newborn baby. I didn't have any items with me. 
And before you ask, no, I don't have any of that ice lying around. It melted away not long after I was rescued. must date from before the memory loss. Master Diviner, any ice I create should do, right? It should indeed. I'll have someone place the material in the base of the terminal of the Matrix. Miss March, please position yourself in the Matrix core. We may begin our inference whenever you are ready. The Matrix has clear diagnostics. Miss March, are you ready yet? Uh, I'm pretty sure I should be. Almost kinda ready to go. Please be prepared. Not all memories are suitable for reawakening. People carry with them much pain and suffering. If you're not ready, we can pause the inference process. I would never wish for good intentions to result in harm. Uh, I'm okay. Let's do it. Only way to find out is to give it a go. Very well. I will soon connect you to the Matrix of Prescience Ultima, where the Matrix will read your memories and guide you back into your past. If you reach a block in your memory, the Matrix will use the data gathered to derive a scenario and construct a possible past for you. Uh, got it. Oh, uh, can he join me too? I'm sorry. That would be highly inadvisable. You form the nexus of the Matrix's inference. He would only introduce redundant data to the system. In other words, inside the memory palace that the Matrix constructs, the only person you'll be able to count on is yourself. Don't worry. I can communicate with you from outside the Matrix and manipulate the recollection process to a certain extent. Let's begin. A lot of 82s. So we get Fuswan. Wait, wait, wait. I need to go back. Oh, wait, never mind. I don't need to go back. I just need Blade. Maybe I do. Hold on. There's something else I want to check. Okay, so there's a Kafka thing. Okay. I think I can do this. That. And then Blade. Is it Blade? Laucha, because I mean, I just need his heals. And I think I'll still bring Kafka along the way because, you know, Kafka still is required. She's still good. I mean, she's very useful. Alright.
The Matrix of Prescience has reconstructed your past. Before you is a space generated from the memories and items you provided as raw materials. Are you okay, Miss March? I'm good. Everything seems normal. You have a strong constitution. Most individuals feel nauseous after being presented with a dizzying excess of information provided by the Matrix. Oh, I must be seeing things. Why are there two Fushens here? Your eyes are working just fine. One of the Fushuens is a projection of me which allows us to communicate with each other at all times. The other Fushuen indicates that I existed during this part of your experience. What experience is this? It looks like the healer's market. Unless I'm mistaken, this must be the time we broke into the Alchemy Commission. Really? Uh, that can't be right. I remember there were lots of Cloud Knights in the plaza. Well, this is just a Matrix inference, remember? Distortions are possible. Although, the scale of this distortion is surprising. Try communicating with the Fu Xuan you see over there. We should hear what the Master Diviner has to say. Which Fu Xuan is the real Fu Xuan? Miss Fu Xuan, is that you? If we want to resolve the Stellaron Crisis, we must refine the question. What is the crux of the problem? Generally, it is believed that when one seizes on the crux of a problem, the problem will split open like bamboo on the edge of a knife. Nobody could have foreseen the catalyzing effect of the Stellaron on the Ambrosial Arbor. As the ancient said, Blessings bring about misfortune and vice versa. Nature has its own algorithm, and it is precisely when fate wins betwixt blessing and misfortune that I, a master diviner of masterful proportions, am called on to save the people of the La Fu. What the heck is she talking about? Master diviner, did you actually say that at the time? I can't remember. It would appear that in Miss March's estimation, I'm somewhat of a... blabbermouth. <laughs> no, uh, I've always seen you as, uh, a masterful master diviner. <laughs> Despite the obvious distortions in this experience, the base materials from which it is composed are taken from your actual memory. There is no falsehood here. In other words, your subconscious mind thinks that I talk in tongue twisters. <laughs> uh, it's mainly just that I, uh, can't always comprehend the lofty ideals and, um, principles you discuss. Forget it. Now is not the time for losing one's temper. If the inferred experience is distorted, we should focus on filtering out each distortion one by one. Otherwise, we won't be able to trace your memories back any further. Um, this is getting a little complicated. Is there a... simpler explanation? <sighs> Draw your bow and fire an arrow at that Fu Xuan. Okay, battle time. All things in this world have their laws. Human creations! A quick divination. Convert and awaken! The fight is set. Pretty well versed about everything here. Let's settle this. Good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. No matter. Gather as one. 
say bye to breathing. Receive divinity. Unnecessary. Let's settle this. <laughs> Stand still. Ugh, that freaked me out. I don't like people suddenly deciding to fight me. Now, let's see who's here. Ting Yun, Welt, General Ching Yuan, and also him. Well, I don't have to fight all of them, right? The Master Diviner was easy peasy, but I don't think I could take General Jing Yuan. Easy peasy? <sighs> the interference factor creating the distortion here should only have one source. That is, the person present who shouldn't be. So I have to pick someone and clear them of interference? Exactly. My projection will disappear for the moment so as to not cloud your judgment. If you can hear my voice, then it means I'm watching over you. You're the best, Master Diviner. <laughs> I hope the best version of me can overwrite the gloriously absurd version that lives in your subconsciousness. The person present who shouldn't be. Who could that be? Probably the general. General, hello. General? Uh, general Jing Yuan. Uh, Jing Yuan. <clears throat> oh, what's his deal? Who falls asleep standing up anyway? This is clearly your subconscious projecting onto the General. Ah, oh, I remember now. The General wasn't there when we broke into the Alchemy Commission. Looks like we found the source of our distortion. March 7th. Oh. Ah! Oh, you scared me! Why'd you wake up so suddenly? Are you not satisfied with your life as it is? I... I'm satisfied. Then why are you obsessing over the past? I see through you. I'm going to awaken. I will dispatch you. The fight is set. Stand still. All things in this world have their humanity creations. Let's settle that this. paradise may be unreachable. Savor it for me. Receive divinity. Eternal sleep is not the dead return. We came together. Together as one. I failed to set you. What is that? Uh, I know what this is. It's a Bellabog heater. Um, wait a minute. What's a Bellabog heater doing at the healer's market? Looks like part of one experience has infiltrated another. A foreign object, so to speak. A foreign object? That sounds like a medical issue. <laughs> Will it require surgery? No. 
I believe the object is a sign of the Matrix purging distortion. It has managed to trace back to another one of your experiences. Make contact with the object. Let's see if we can jump over into that experience. charts. There are many similar star systems on the Sienjou trade routes. Unfortunately, all of them lost contact after the appearance of the Antimatter Legion. Yeah, Bellabog is a kind of snowy doomsday city. There are heaters like this all over the place. Otherwise, people wouldn't survive. Come on, Master Diviner. I'll give you a whirlwind tour of Bellabog. Uh, is touching a heater a good idea? This thing is red hot. What if my hand turns extra crispy? It's okay. This is a memory space. If something hasn't injured you in reality, then it cannot injure you in memory. Oh, well, I was never beaten up by Jing Yuan in reality either. Enough of that. Touch it. Uh, hey, don't pull on my hand. I... Ow, ow, ow! Hot, hot, hot! Oh, what the actual... That thing was flaming hot! You said things that never happened to me in reality couldn't happen here. I said that if something hasn't injured you in reality, then it cannot injure you in memory. I didn't say anything about the sensation of injury. So this is Bellabog. I was expecting it to be cold. Oh, it's freezing. What? Master Diviner, aren't you cold? I can't stop shivering. Hmm. Most likely a result of me never having experienced true cold. I'm afraid you'll have to do the shivering by yourself. On the Lofu, you and I have shared experiences. And so I was able to provide more active assistance. But in Bellabog, you'll have to rely on your own judgment to ascertain the source of distortion and get the foreign object to appear. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Oh, Miss March, I have one more thing to ask. Have you ever experienced great suffering? Uh, what? I don't think so. Why are you suddenly asking me that? Sometimes people forget extreme memories to protect themselves from suffering. Perhaps you didn't notice. But in your memories of the Lofu, everyone you met was either hinting or explicitly stating that you should stop trying to remember. I believe this is most likely your subconscious communicating with you directly. Though, of course, we cannot rule out that external forces may have interfered with your memory. In the latter case, it is possible that someone decided to leave warnings in your subconscious to prevent you from recalling the truth. Am I really that important to someone? I don't think there's anyone who'd go to all the trouble of locking up my memories. And yet, memories are precisely what you seek, no? Hmm. I say this to say one thing. Are you certain you wish to continue exploring your memories? You said external forces might be messing with my head, right? That just makes me more curious. No one gets away with locking up my memories. Let's go. I'll show you the way to Goethe Hotel. <laughs> Very well. I must admit that I'm finding the whole matter more interesting by the minute. 
This memory should be from the first day we arrived in Balabog. By the second day, we were wanted criminals already. The person present who shouldn't be. Who could it be? I wonder who is really behind the madness. Pilla? His teeth do better. Shampoo? What is he? Miss March! Long time no see! Welcome to the Sampo Hotel. Uh, the Sampo Hotel? This is Goethe Hotel! Was Goethe Hotel. <laughs> now it's the Sampo Hotel. In the autumn of his years, old Goethe got too old to run this place, so he handed it down to his most trusted young confidant, Sampo Kuski. And before you get the wrong idea, there was zero trickery involved. This was a cherished agreement between gentlemen. You see, old Goethe and I chose to face the future instead of clinging to memories of the past. You should do the same, March. This blue-haired fellow has an air of deceit about him every time he opens his mouth. <laughs> you don't need a jade abacus to get a feel for Sampo. Miss hmm. March 7th. Welcome to the Sampo Hotel. I'm Japard, the security here. Why would hotel security need to be armed to the teeth? Is there great lawlessness in Bellabog? Uh, no, no, no. Japard is the captain of the Silvermane Guards. Just like how the Lafu has its own Cloud Knights captains. I have no idea what he's doing running security at a hotel like this, though. It isn't so surprising. In attempting to pursue the rational, we piece together the unrelated. The result is a seemingly meaningful fantasy. A fantasy called life. Excuse me, Miss March. Do you need anything? If there's nothing else, please let me get back to my duty. Also, allow me to remind you. You cannot change the past. The future is all that's left for you. Hmm, that actually does feel like something he would say. Hmm. Welcome to the Sampa Hotel, Miss March. The Sampa Hotel used to be called the Goethe Hotel. After old Goethe retired, Sampo managed to trick his way into acquiring this place, and renamed it after himself. Luckily, the high-quality service of the hotel remains undiminished. It's still the best place to stay in the administrative district. I should mention, the Sampo Hotel's new slogan is, Don't think about the past. Strive for your future. Sounds like the kind of ad copy that Miss March would like. Hmm. This girl seems quite trustworthy. Uh, that's just the work of my subconscious mind. The tea service at Goethe Hotel is first class, especially this whale tide spring. They say that an architect once used the preservation's power to make camellias bloom on the snow plains, and that this tea is made from those leaves. Whale Tide Spring? Isn't that a variety of Sienjo tea? My brain must be filling in the blanks. Probably because I never drank any famous tea in Bellabog. Ugh, so bitter! Yuck! Bitter tea is good for your health. Ugh, bitter is bitter! If it tastes like that, it doesn't really matter how good for you it is. There's an old saying in Balabog, blessed is he who can eat the bitterest of bitter. These experiences are becoming increasingly distorted. Seems like my subconscious mind has no talent for screenwriting. 
I'm not sure your conscious mind does either. Uh, I'm not denying it. Infallible. Long time no see, Zila. March? Long time no see. How's everything been going since you left Bellabog? The Express never looked back. It headed straight for the other end of the galaxy, because that was its fate. The same goes for us. We can't return to the past. March, don't dwell on the past. It won't do you any good. Trust me. Uh, got it? Thanks. These warnings are ongoing. The situation is becoming stranger by the minute. It sure is. Uh, let's press on and see what awaits. I remember our second day in Bellabog was mostly us being hunted down by Silvermane guards. We didn't meet Zila until way later. Which means... Zila shouldn't be appearing in this memory. She's the source of the interference. In which case, we must eliminate her. Seems like you don't trust me. It's not that I don't trust you. It's just... An answer is not required. She is merely a mirage hindering your progress. I understand. Let's do this. All right. I see through you. All things in this world have their laws. Human creation! <laughs> And awaken. <laughs> Good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. You impede me. The fight is set. Stand still. That paradise may be unsavor it for me. <laughs> Let's settle this. <laughs> Quick divinate. <laughs> What's this? Let me see. Developed on Herta Space Station. Seems like this must be the foreign object. The next experience should be meeting him for the first time. Herta Space Station. Shame we didn't get to see the stunning vistas of the snow plains. This hotel lobby must have left a deep impression on you. Well, waking up after a great sleep in a comfy bed to find out you're a wanted criminal tends to leave a deep impression. Let's move on to the next stop. Ugh, I mean, the last stop. Let's go. So long as you're ready. Uh, I'll take a monitor over a red-hot heater any day. March, wake up. We have to hurry. Huh? Are we going? What about Miss Fushuen? Fushuen? Who's that? And there's no time for daydreaming. The space station is in crisis. Uh huh? What do you mean? Come with me. Asta said that the Stellaron is stored in that room up ahead. And I'm guessing the Legion might also be interested in its whereabouts. I know this memory. This is before we met him. Don Hung, where are you? Master Diviner, can you hear me? Oh, darn it, something must have gone wrong. What am I gonna do? Why did Miss Fushuen pick the scariest time to vanish? Hmm. March, can you... me? I'm getting more and more evidence that your memories have suffered interference. But I don't know where from. 
Looks like I'll have to do it by myself this time. Okay, well, nice that all of that is still there. There's Arlen. March. If you insist on looking back, you'll find nothing but confusion and chaos. You were the last princess, and also the last survivor of the Diamond World ad -Livin. The planet was burned to an obsidian hellscape the moment Nanook ascended. Filled with despair, your parents swaddled you in warm clothing and placed you into an ice ship. As they watched you sink into the turbulent waves of the starscape, they felt a newfound hope. You are found and raised by strangers. You are the only savior. The promise of rebirth. Oh, wait! I wrote that! That's a story I made up about my past! Ah, oh, great. Forget memories. Now everyone gets to see my imagination. Hmm. March, have you forgotten your past experiences? Surely your bow there is enough evidence for you. You were once a galaxy ranger, engaged in a bitter fighting battle with the remnants of the swarm. You rescued a planet in the Emerald System that was about to be swallowed by a black hole smashing through Dr. Primitive's carefully laid plans. You were severely wounded during the battle for Vonwalk. The leader of the rangers encased you in ice to protect you and waited for you to recover. My bow? But Himeko made that for me! You're lying! Okay, Hedera. March 7th, one of the nameless aboard the Astral Express. After being picked up by Himeko, she was freed from the six-faced ice in which she was encased. She lost all memory of the past. Because she had no past to speak of, she was an eon. And eons have no past. From the moment they ascend, the past and future of their existence becomes inundated by their path. March 7th's mistake was the loss of the authority of the eons. Could it be? That never even occurred to me. But I guess it's not impossible. <sighs> Finally. All done. I better meet up with Fushuen if I want to keep going through my memories. March, leave your memories in the past. Why do you insist on returning to them? If they were so important to you, wouldn't you have remembered them? The moment a nameless boards the express, a new life begins. We set out on a new road, never to return. Explore, trailblaze. But do not dwell in the past. You'll tarnish the reputation of the Nameless. Hmm. Interesting. Even he wants me not to go any further. Uh, enough! You're not him! Nothing like him! He would never try and force me to give up something so important to me! I don't care who you are. Disappear right now and let me pass. And don't you ever pretend to be one of my friends again. <laughs> I see through you. All right. Gather as one. All things in this world, human creation. <laughs> Blade knows no mercy. Fight is set. Bloom. Unnecessary. Stand still. Eternal sleep is a dead return! Let's settle this. <laughs> a quick divination. Converge and awaken. I will dispatch you. Failed to send you. May as well kill them all. 
Didn't hurt. I'll see you off. Relax. She is a must have. This sword needs sharpening. Weren't there coordinates sent out from the space station? Weak heartbeat and pulse. March, you better do CPR. This is the first time we met him, but he isn't here. Who are you? I don't remember you. I am a messenger of the Garden of Recollection. Miss March, please refrain from looking back upon your past. Leave the Matrix of Prescience and return to reality. The past is not worth exploring. It will only hurt you. You're the one who needs to leave. I'm not letting this go. The Garden of Recollection? Did the Glow Sweater send you? Are you the one meddling with my observations? Fully. What do you want with this girl? No matter the nature of your intentions, stealing others' memories like this, deceiving them, blinding them. I cannot allow that to happen. <sighs> you leave me no choice but to resort to unconventional means. Miss March, this might feel uncomfortable, but I'm going to enter your memory world and help you clear out any obstacles. Oh boy. All things in this world have their laws. Human creation! Good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. Converge and awaken! Blade knows no mercy. The fight is set. Stands down. That paradise may be unreachable for me. Savor it for me. Move. Eternal sleep is not the dead return. You chose the wrong enemy. <laughs> Relax. Gather as one. All things in this human creation. Failed to set you free. May as well kill them all. Stand still. Let's settle this. Good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. I see through you. Converge and awaken. Say bye to both. I will dispatch you. Relax. That paradise, savor it for me. Receive divinity. <laughs> May as well kill them all. Eternal sleep and dead return! <laughs> all things in this human creation! Amazing. Thanks for your help, Miss Fushuen. <laughs> I promised I'd watch over you. Besides, I've been blessed by the Wisdom Walker. I will never tolerate efforts to impede the truth. That person said she was a messenger. The Garden of Recollection. Why would they come after me? Many members of the Garden have their own agenda. It's impossible to confirm anything from a cursory introduction. This is the Astral Express, no? It would seem that you're nearing the source. 
The Matrix of Prescience Ultima should start making further calculations soon. Do you remember where it was exactly that you were discovered? They set the ice down in one of the passenger cars. It ended up being my room. Then let's pass through this carriage and find your room. Don Hung, let's crack open this ice block. Perhaps we can still save the girl inside. Hmm. Be careful not to harm her. I've got this. Pom Pom, go and get the first aid kit. This must be... when the crew first found me? I don't remember a thing. Some memories are buried deep within you. It takes time for them to resurface. What's going on? How come we're back at the start? It's the messenger. She's interfering with your movements again. Don't look back. Keep going forward. Don't look back. Keep going forward. It seemed like that kid was trapped in ice, but the substance doesn't share the same physical properties. How bizarre. The crystals show at least six structures under differing conditions. Six phased ice. The galaxy really is an enigma. Hmm. Heck? Of course, I hope we can take her in. Or, uh, rather, I can offer a conclusion based on the most basic of moral judgments. Now that we've found her, we have to look after her. But, naturally, I'm concerned about whether or not this places the Astral Express in any danger. The Astral Express welcomes everyone! Don't worry! Do what you feel is right, and Pom-Pom will take care of the rest! Thanks. I feel more at ease now. I just hope she'll have a good time on the Express and not feel too... alienated from the rest of us. Stop worrying so much. Pom Pom will say it again. The Astral Express welcomes everyone. Hmm. Of course, I hope we can take her, but. The Astral. Thanks. Stop worrying so much. Pom Pom will say it again. The Astral Express will. Right. Thought there was more. There wasn't. It was just a repeat. What is in that room? Everyone agreed to take you in. I'm in exile. And by the look of things, you might not have a home to go back to either. But here on the Express, <laughs> nobody is alone. Himiko said that your vitals were all stable. She just didn't know when you'd regain consciousness. Hmm. The Interferer has been thwarting your progress this whole time. Maybe the only way for you to find your past is to take a step back. forward I get it if I do the exact opposite I'll find my way out you're a true genius March as soon as you open this door the matrix of prescience will start calculating your past whenever you're ready let's go uh, is this my room I didn't get a chance to tidy up don't judge this is your room? That block of ice in the center. 
has it always been there? Ice? This must be the foreign object. Looks like our exploration has reached its final stage. I will confirm one last time. Are you sure you wish to keep exploring your past? Yes. I'm sure. Master Diviner? She is busy running the Matrix of Prescience Ultima. You again? What I do with my past is none of your business! Why do you have to make things so difficult? <sighs> Please, trust the Garden of Recollection. Everything I'm doing is for your protection. You don't protect people by imprisoning them! We know. If you are truly set on learning about your past, then come with me. I'll show you the origin that you seek. I hope that you will refrain from exploring any further than this. Trust me when I say, nothing good can come of it. There it is. Your origin. Your life unfolds from this point on, full of unique experiences and adventure. What happened prior is meaningless to you. The value of your life does not lie in what happened in the past, but in the present and the future. The eagle returns from an unsuccessful hunt. The sailor avoids the course they know to be dangerous. And you, my child, should come to learn that the past is just an illusion. But your experiences now will be remembered forever. It is time to say goodbye. Here, a parting gift for you. I look forward to our next encounter. Uh, wait! Hold on! What? This still doesn't tell me. Like, other than... Her being locked up in ice. Hmm. Uh, Miss Fu Shuen, why did the simulation just cut off like that? I'm fine. Just a little lightheaded is all. And the Matrix of Prescience stopped at precisely the same moment. March, I lost sight of you once you touched that block of ice. What happened? It's kinda hard to explain. So, that mysterious girl was really a messenger of the Glow Swather? Glow Swather? You mean Fu Li, the Remembrance? Are they the eon connected to my past? No, it's too early to draw such a conclusion. All I can say is that it was very likely an eon that sealed away your memories. But not necessarily Fu Li. When the messenger spoke of protection, perhaps she meant the following. By sealing away your memories, the Glow Swather wasn't attempting to harm you, but to shield you from the memories themselves. Sounds like we're still none the wiser. It's not so bad. At least I know it has to do with the Garden of Recollection, right? It seems like retrieving memories is beyond the operational spectrum of the Matrix of Prescience Ultima. Uh, 
That's all right. You've helped me so much already, Master Diviner. I owe you a big one. Mm. If you'll excuse me, I must organize an inspection of the Matrix. <sighs> Fingers crossed there's no damage done. Uh, we'll leave you to it, then. <clears throat> uh, run. If we broke something, there'll be a huge bill to pay. Okay. Well, at least Fu Swan will get to join us. And that's it. Other than that, I hope you guys really enjoyed that little story. I am so curious about Marsh's past. There's so much, like, questions about it, and uh, I'm, like, very curious of what the truth is and like what's really going on i'm pretty sure we'll find out and get to discover more but uh hopefully we can when the more they release the story out and normally i would that well, looks like march got something to say angel come to my room i found something amazing what is it what did you find you'll know when you're here hurry okay so it looks like Apparently, March wants us to go to her room. That was... Wait, is this the right... No, it's not. I think it was on the other side. Look, there's Luca. I've always lived in the underworld and never, ever imagined. I, I just can't believe I can look at my home from this angle. Say, our planet really isn't that big, is it? Oh, like how things look big when they get closer? I get that. You've been traveling for so long. Surely you've been to places way bigger than this. Don't laugh, but I used to hide in the storage room in my dad's workshop and go through old picture books. They were full of places I've never seen before. Oceans, forests. I heard Yalo, <laughs> uh, I mean Yarillo, right? I heard Yarillo 6 didn't used to be all snowy like this, and it had all sorts of landscapes and natural environments. They are totally magical to me. I'd never have imagined it myself. Hmm. Maybe it's too unrealistic to wish it'd go back to the way it was, but it's good to have a dream, right? <laughs> yeah, that's the spirit. I want to see some places with a little more get up and go, you know? Still, those places wouldn't be home. <laughs> Case in point, I've only been here for a while, but I'm already kind of missing the taste of the underworld air. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see what March has for us. Okay, that's done. March. Uh huh? I just found this in my pocket. How did it get there? What is it? It looks like a light cone. Didn't that weird voice in the Matrix say something about a parting gift? Well, I guess this is it. My origin, huh? I don't know why, but the voice sounded friendly to me. Well, I trust your well, intuition. guess I'll keep it then. Jumping through all those hoops in the Matrix was pretty exhausting. But this little gift makes me feel like it was worth it. I'll have to find time to thank Miss Fu Xuan properly. I really owe her one. Mm. So I like him. Hey, the me in the light cone looks kind of cute, don't you think? Cuter than the real you? Hmm. Don't believe you. <laughs> hey, the me in the light cone. Uh, obviously, how could light cone me be cuter than actual me? <laughs> oh my. 
Let's see what the last hey, one is. The me <laughs> Just telling it like I see it. Hmm. Well, looks like that is it for now. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Uh, let's see. Wait, I don't think I have to, enough to do the... What you call it? Oh, I guess I do. I have one. So let's go ahead and I'll give it one more pull. And if not, let's just say hopefully next time you guys see me that I will already have her and she'll be unlocked. But personally, I hope you guys really enjoyed this content. I know I did. Please remember to hit that like button and please be sure to su subscribe so that way you guys don't miss out any content. So hopefully we get lucky here. But I, I don't know. Nope. Oh well. Well, until then, I'll catch you guys in the next video. So, uh, until then, see you guys. And I hope you guys get lucky on getting Bushwan. Until then, see ya.